Hey guys, it's me, Whistler's Brother, and yeah, it's been a long time since I've done the tutorial, so uh, I've, this is something I've had a lot of requests for, and I'm going to try to help you develop more range. And when I say more range, what I mean is hit higher notes than you're able to hit now, and hit lower notes than you're able to hit now. The one that I get asked most often is about higher notes, so we'll start with that. Now here's the thing, I say this over and over and over, if you want to get better at your whistling, you got to practice. Same thing is true here. If you want to hit higher notes, the only way you're going to do it is to keep working at it and practicing. Okay. Um, there are some tricks and some things, but <clears throat> it's more about training the muscles in your mouth than about any special tricky technique or anything. Um, when you're first starting out learning how to whistle, you're going to hit a ceiling. And same thing, you're going to hit a floor. There's going to be a certain range. You're able to hit notes in here, and you can't go beyond it. The only way to go beyond it is training the muscles in your mouth to be able to handle it. To go higher, you're going to need probably a little more air speed, maybe a little more pressure, but also the, the space inside your mouth has to get smaller. To get really high notes, you're going to be able to have to get a very small space inside your mouth. Okay, now let me show you what I'm talking about. When I get into the upper registers, I'm actually letting the air, I'm putting so much air pressure that it's pu it's puffing my cheeks a little bit right here. Mm. And um, <laughs> the only way you're going to get to a point where you can hold the, your, uh, the opening of your pucker tight enough to still get a whistle out and get enough air pressure out that you're still making a whistle with a small, small space inside your mouth is by training the muscles in your mouth. So here's what you need to do to get higher and higher notes. Whistle your very highest note, okay? Whatever that note is, as high as you can go. Whatever your highest note is, whistle it. As loud as you can manage it, okay? And you're going to keep whistling it as loud as you can until your your cheeks are actually going to hurt your your lips may hurt muscles in your mouth may begin to hurt this is a good thing this is what you want to do okay this is going to sound strange but it's not unlike if you were a bodybuilder or a weightlifter and you want to develop strong muscles and you're like hey. well okay that's not a good example but if you wanted to develop bigger muscles what you need to do is actually wear them out okay you work them and work them and work them until they hurt, until you just, uh, you keep trying. This is the thing. Hit that top note, keep whistling it until you wear out and you can't do it, and keep trying to do it even once you can't do it. Um, you don't have to go forever, you know, just for, it might only take five or ten minutes, but... You want to wear out the muscles in your mouth. If possible, you want to get them to the point where they hurt. Now, if you keep doing this, it's going to strengthen those muscles in your mouth. So keep doing it and keep doing it. The only way to actually improve your range is to push your range. The only way to push it is to actually exceed your capability. Wear those muscles out. Do it over and over, the highest note you can, as loud as you can. Even if it's not a very high note, doesn't matter. Do it as high as you can. And... Again, the thing about a higher note, you're going to want to close your jaw more and more, maybe even use your tongue inside your mouth. Uh, it's something you have to experiment with, but you'll get the hang of this, uh, especially if, if you've been whistling for a while and you can do higher and lower notes and whatever, then you know what I'm talking about. Now, whistling inward, if you're someone who whistles in like me, um, I can whistle inward and outward. Um, same thing. You're going to want to just go as high as you can go. Keep doing it until you can't do it anymore. Keep doing it until that whistle is gone and you can't make any sound. Because what's happened is you've worn out those muscles. They will rebuild. They'll get stronger. They'll get better. They'll get faster. Six million dollar man. Uh, no. Okay, so, um, lower notes. Lower notes, pretty much the same thing. You're going to want to keep going as low as you can go and keep doing it until you can't produce a sound anymore. So you're going to want to wear out the muscles in your mouth. <laughs> Try 
try to go even a little lower than that. Same thing with your high note. Whatever you think your highest note is, when you get to it, try to go even just a little bit higher. Because what's going to happen is as you do this over and over, when you practice more and more, you wear those muscles out, they build back up, you get better, stronger. The next time that you're doing it, what's going to happen? It's a very slow, gradual process. But over time, keep trying to hit just a little bit of higher note. If you're doing your low note, try to hit just a little bit lower note than that. And every time, uh, eventually over time, you're going to find that you do your range is going to improve. You're going to be able to hit just a little bit lower note next time. Not the very next time, but you know, over time. Um, it took me many years to develop this kind of range. And um, that's how you do it. I mean, I hope that makes sense. There's really not that much to it, guys. It's basically is do it, do it, do it over and over. Do it till it, till it hurts. Push your limits. Keep trying to go past whatever your highest note is and your lowest note is, try to go past that, okay? With high notes especially, you're gonna need a lot more air speed once you get way up there, okay? So be prepared for that, have a good breath. When you're gonna hit a high note, see, uh, I'm not, I, I can't even hold that note for very long. Well, anyway, you get the idea. There it is. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Feel free to leave questions in the comments section. I may not get to them right away, but I promise I will do my best to answer them. All right. So uh, I hope that helps you guys. And uh, peace.